Hey everyone, Justin here. The crucifixion, death, and resurrection of Jesus are the most critical events in human history. The core of Christianity is built on that truth. Who Jesus was, God taking on humanity, living a life we couldn't live, dying a death that we deserved to be able to reconcile humanity to him is so critical and key. Today, we're looking at Matthew 26, verse 2. In this passage, Jesus is talking to his closest disciples, and he says this, You know that after two days, the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man is to be handed over for crucifixion. And there's a lot going on here that we could talk about. But what I want to explain to I will explain is this. He's being really clear with them. <laughs> and what we know from the Gospels is during their time with Jesus, they kind of mis, misunderstood or just didn't catch exactly what Jesus was putting down. And it wasn't until afterwards, after they, his death and resurrection, they saw him alive and living that the disciples radically changed to the point of dying for the truth of who Jesus was in his resurrection. As clear as Jesus could possibly be in times like this, they still didn't get it. So my challenge to us today as we think about Good Friday, as we think about Easter, as we think about the truth of Jesus' death and resurrection, and again, what that means for us as, as humans, how clear is Jesus being to us? How clear is Jesus being to you? And are we allowing ourselves to receive that good news? Or are we letting the noise of the world or the noise of life get in our way? Are we not leaning in to listen or try to understand what Jesus has to tell us? Because in, to embrace the truth, the clear truth of who Jesus was and what he did is to embrace life, to embrace eternal life, to move from death to life, from darkness to light, and to be able to live a life of newness, of peace, of love, and to have hope for all eternity, to have a renewed relationship with God, and that's what God wants for us. So today, my challenge again is this. Think about who Jesus is, what he's done for us, and what he wants for us, and embrace the tr truth, the clear truth that Jesus is calling you to a relationship with him. Let me pray. Dear Lord, thank you again for your word. Thank you, Jesus, for taking on humanity, living a life we couldn't live, dying a death that we deserved. Help us to hear you calling us. Help us to hear the clear truth of your word and help us all to embrace it, to live life differently, more abundantly, full of peace and joy, and to be lights to those around us. In Jesus' name, amen.